Uh, hello, so good afternoon. Uh, we'll be doing distribution fitting. Uh, okay, so uh, here, um, if ever we encounter certain data and we want to try to uh, check what uh, type of distribution is best to use in that data, uh, we will uh, we should be doing distribution fitting and uh, for for somebody like uh, us who aren't uh, statisticians it, it is quite hard to choose which uh, distribution fitting is uh, the is the appropriate one so right now we'll be doing a distribution uh, distribution fitting for every possible um, distribution there is so let's just generate some number okay so random between let's say one between 100 okay so let's just drag it down until okay, 170 then um, here we have, we've installed spc for excel so in spc for excel there's actually distribution fitting already. So this is this shows you what's the variable name and the data range. And here we can check all and um, check every possible distribution, and uh, it, it will do the distribution fitting. <coughs> okay. So uh, here we go. We are seeing that it's uh, creating uh, different distribution fitting for the specific data that we've entered. Soon it will show. Okay, so here we have our um, fits ready. Okay, so there's the summary. So here is the summary. Uh, they, they show the count, the mean, standard deviation, the median, skewness, and kurtosis. So these are the distributions that were. Um, and these are the p values and our DAIC. Okay, so depending on uh, depending on which uh, which fits the data most, uh, uh, you can just compare each of the distributions um, that were used. So that's it for distribution fitting using, uh, or yeah, so that's for distribution fitting.